burrito. Not bad. So I pulled this bag out because my copybook was in there. And look what I freaking found. My laptop charger. It's a boat way out in the distance. I love that this camera can just zoom in that far. That's how far it is. <laughs> the van is such a mess, but I just needed you to see this. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? This bed is so comfy. And that is my view right now. How crazy is that? Go chase the ducks, Nala. Nala, Nala. Wanna go chase the ducks? Wanna go chase the ducks? Wanna go chase the ducks? Oh, I'm gonna chase the ducks. I'm gonna chase the ducks. Go chase the ducks. Go ducks. 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 Why are they not running away from me? <laughs> they really just don't care. Well, that's not fun. Now it works. I'm in Parksville trying to get some chores done and I woke up this morning with the van battery dead. The one thing that I've been afraid of happening for the longest time finally happened. I forgot the Jackery plugged into the van last night and then shut the van off and went to bed. Woke up this morning and remembered what I did. And the van was completely dead and I had to call for a boost. So that was genius. Hopefully I won't do it again. But I was just so extremely tired. It's like all of the missed sleep over the past however many days or weeks is finally catching up to me now that I'm here and I'm calmer and the adrenaline is gone. Now is when I feel the worst. It's when I feel the most exhausted. I feel like I could sleep for an entire week straight to catch up, but I won't do that because I have a lot of work to do and I just don't have it in me to take that much time off. So here we go. <laughs> This is totally normal. In Parksville, this is normal. Oh, I want more. <laughs> Now this is a parking spot. This is really nice. 
I'm editing the vlog right in front of the ocean. <laughs> I'm in Qualicum Beach, which is basically right beside Parksville, which is basically right beside Qualicum Bay, which is basically with the entire, like my entire time here on Victoria, on Vancouver Island, is where I've been for the majority of the time. Um, and this is a beautiful location, you know, right on the beach. I've been sleeping here the past couple of nights. And um, I have so much work to do, so much editing to catch up on. It just feels like so much. And I'm normally totally happy to hunker down and get it done. But with everything that's happened emotionally over the past couple of weeks, with, you know, the, the unexpected uh, fights with Bev and having to find my way across the country on my own and being basically ditched by people or someone that I thought was my friend and that care about and and just finding out that things were not as they seem and then everything else that went on in this country over the past couple of weeks it's just so much, so emotionally heavy. And I just, I don't know what to do to feel better. I just, I really enjoyed constant movement. I really enjoyed being in a different city almost every day and just moving around. And I can't do that here because you have to take the ferry to leave. And I really, I've been drained financially from what just happened. And I really need to recoup funds and, and just get my stuff together before I can really even do anything. But I just, I feel like I have been in this one space for too long. And I should just head up to Campbell River and get it, <laughs> just get it over with. And I'm just, I know the, the thing that's holding me back is that it's colder there by, by a few degrees and I'm grateful for every degree warmer that it is. But, um, you know, I, I did this, I made this mistake when I was in North Vancouver and I stayed in one place for too long because it was the logical thing to do and things just got increasingly worse and worse and worse. And when I just followed my intuitive push or my emotional push and came here when I came here then things started to feel a lot better things started to work out I guess work out they were working out um, for a while so I think I might just go to Campbell River and see what I see and find what I find and then maybe hunker that down there for a minute and get my editing done
no, it's not a burrito. <laughs> I got the tortilla soup, but this is not what tortilla soup is supposed to be. And I don't know if it's because the girl was new or what, but I'm going to taste it and see if it's even edible, really. It's edible, but I would not recommend it. I think tortilla soup when done right is amazing. And this just ain't it. I'm in Campbell River. <laughs> I uh, got to basically to about this point and I'm like, this is a really nice view. You can see the mountains better from here. So I'm like, okay, maybe there's something here. But then I drove up the road to go get something to eat and I'm like, it just looks like every other city. And then I realized that I wasn't getting any internet reception. Uh, I tried driving around a bit, just couldn't get it to work. So I don't think I'm gonna stay here. I think I'm just gonna drive right back. I came, I saw, and um, I'm done. I, I just, I need to get work done and I'm just, yeah, I don't know if it's that I'm depressed or what, but I just don't care anymore. I just don't care anymore. I left Campbell River and I drove all the way down to Victoria, which is where I am right now. And I'm going to be going to the first bar that I've been in quite some time. <laughs> I got you there you go. I have no idea where I am. Somewhere in Victoria. I'm just exhausted, so. I'm basically parking in front of someone's house and I don't really care because I'm just too tired. I will figure it out in the morning. I'm pretty sure I'm legally parked. It just might be weird for people who live here. Like, who the hell is that? not feeling it in Victoria and I decided to leave and not far outside of Victoria was this cute little picnic area so I pulled off. This is when I recognized that what I needed wasn't more driving around. It was nature. Mm -hmm. 